Okay, we can speed this up a little bit. Because we really just need to have an eye on what's going on overall. Our fleet is not going where I would like it to go. Ah, uh, we have some amount of... Uh, that's not even a little. Let's split this army and move some of them into reserve as well. Into this reserve. And these we will lead personally. Thank you very much. Bring the best minds out here. More reserve. We are fighting the rebels. So this is really all I need to see. Combine these armies. Move our troops back home. They stand watch where they are supposed to stand watch. He's an infidel. Let's take away his duchies. Going to accept it. And then we can redistribute the duchies and maybe transfer some vassalage. There it goes. Sending in our reinforcements. We do have the high ground. But we don't have any good commanders in it yet. Once our troops arrive, that will hopefully change. That's what happens if you take your eyes off the ball for just a second. Alright, okay, oh no. Oh no, we're losing this one. Oh, we're losing this one hard on top of it. Ay, 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 ay. Never look away from war. Ah. Okay, let's bring our own troops because this might take a take a real long time otherwise. Okay, so we have taken away his titles and take all his titles. All the sunny rulers are going to be unhappy. But that's okay. We do not care. We're going to get some good, decent Christians Let's fit it out with those titles. We can have the Duchy of Bourbon, including all the lower ones. You can have the Duchy of Guadu, including all the lower ones. Okay, the other ones kind of went like, nah, you're not my liege lord. I don't have to listen to you. So we have managed to mess up royally. Royally indeed. We were the absolute overwhelming force in this. There was no reason for us to lose this. Beyond, again, hubris. We'll bring our own troops and turn this around. At least now we know he doesn't have any sort of army ready for war with us. And if he would like to attack us in the mountains, we shall welcome the challenge. Have our best leading here. Ah, should probably go take care of this. Let's do that real quick. Now he's going to siege. Well, that's all okay. We'll go fight him here again, and then he will turn around, and once we're done, we got all our troops down here.
We'll be fine. We'll be fine. It'll work out. Of the utmost trust in my armies. What? Why is he not defeated? He killed his army. That should be enough. All right. Let's put our retinue here because we have taken this territory over there. There he is. Good. Do we hold anything stupid? It does not look like we are. We go siege Parma again, which is mountainous. So if he wants to attack us there, again, he's welcome to try. Defending in good area is always better than what I did before. I really left myself open there. Ah, a Khan has settled down. Right. Our own troops are soon to he. Yeah, there we, there we go. There are our own troops. Let's give them some decent-ish leaders. Someone for the flank. And they shall go re-siege up there. We've taken victory. This is very difficult terrain to fight in. Because it's not going to be easy to find a actual advantage over the enemy. Because there's so many rivers and it's mountainous or hills. I mean, this is just plain terrain. So actually what we're going to do... We're going to attack. Right now. Pincer movement. Because we're not crossing any rivers. We are suffering attrition from it being winter anyway. So let's take care of this. There we go. Let's get our main force led by us. What happened to my good commanders there. Let's split the smaller one and go resiege in various parts. Oh no. My kinsman is wounded trying to deal with the peasants. Good, so we have re-established dominance. But I believe we lost commanders. Quite a few actually. Well, now. This is not a good army. Ah, we have a siege here. That's good. He will help us take care of this quickly. Okay, this time we're not going to take the eyes of the prize. Oh, yeah. Let's strive to be more like Emperor Male Petir, the philosopher. Okay, he's putting some more armies together. And I don't think I should give him the chance to put them in sensible positions. So we're going to go attack this from several sides. I want the engagement to start without having the negative modifier for crossing... Oh, there's a negative modifier for crossing a river. If I want it or not, it's there. Are we just going to go for the majority of armies there? Even though we're abandoning the re-siege situation. That's all fine and well. Let's have our siege master rule here. We shall have Italy. We shall have it all. The Muslims are dealing with revolt again. We also have the money to form the Holy Roman Empire, I believe.
All right. So now we siege in the vicinity of each other. Not letting our armies go too far apart. As to not repeating the mistakes of the past. Ooh. Have some people have some jobs. Oh, Jester, where's Glitterhoof? Glitterhoof, my dear, you shall entertain us. So, even if he sends his army to the island. We still have two holdings, three holdings. Oh no. Oh god, no. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky indeed. Everyone needs to fight now. Our retinue is sadly losing. But we might be able to reinforce them in time. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Barely avoided disaster in the home front. Right, let's follow them. They're going to go up here. And we shall personally lead. Since there's no army down here, that's going to be any issue. Okay, I believe we're losing money now. Yeah. Hard. I'm not catching him. Where is he going? He's going to go there. Now oh, we're catching him. And the leaders are facing off on the battle. Well, not really. Right. My retinues have done well. Really well. Now we can march south and siege more territory. As we pursue the Italians on our home shore. Was a fairly clever move of them. I will not deny him. But it was not to be. So there's not going to be any resistance down here. All his armies up. And they have to fight, even if they don't want to. He's not even leading them himself anymore. There we go. Let us settle this. And we are threatening again with exactly 50%. Let's unpause for a second and repause. We can stand down our troops safely. Right, okay. Now, before we do anything else, we shall go found the Holy Roman Empire. Which costs us 1,109 gold. We will implement the princely elective. We become the new de jure liege of the kingdom of her. The kingdom of no. The kingdom of. Alright. All the empires and kingdoms are forfeit that existed before. Uh huh. Pope Nicholas is granted a bunch of counties. Okay. 
And the Reichskrone shall be added to our treasury. Let's do it. I've never done this. The Holy Roman Empire. Since the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 47, 476, the Emperor of Byzantium has been the sole claim to the heritage of the Caesars. There has always been a shift, a rift between the Greek and Latin worlds, not least in matters of the church. The popes in Rome have for a long time made their own policies, refusing to accept Byzantine supremacy and denying that the emperor in Constantinople would hold a legitimate claim to the authority over Christendom. Edekan Ergnacht Chaisil has now been crowned Holy Roman Empire by Pope Nicholas IV, invoking the Translatio Imperii and restoring the Western Roman Empire. This perhaps signifies a new era in the history of Europe and is definitely a confirmation of long-standing rift uh, between East and West glory. So this is how it looks now. Um, we're allowed to have 42 vassals, so we're no longer over the vassal limit. And there are several kingdom titles to be created. We'll start with the Kingdom of Ireland because that's our birthright. Let's have this. And the Kingdom of Italy. We shall have that as well. And the Kingdom of Sasana. We shall have that as well. Those are our rightful titles. And we get this cool, unique banner here. So how does inheritance work now? Oh god. <laughs> oh god no. It's elective. Alright. So this is what the Holy Roman Empire is. It's elective. No more primogenitura. Oh man. Oh boy. So this will make things harder again. But I never did this. And I really wanted to do it. And I have done it. And now maybe everything falls apart again. This might be very well the case. But it's still just a choice between our people. Okay, we have... Who are the electors? Am I the only elector? Nah. Right, okay, we have unlocked the achievement for this, which is lovely. Now there's a lot of titles that are going to be lost in succession. And our own son, our own grandson is no longer the heir. People are not supporting our candidates. Oh god. They're all going for my cousin. Who we just kind of took a part in all this. But that's okay. That is quite a right, in my opinion. We might still manage to get a situation where we have another succession law again, in effect. So, we'll be able to deal with it. Take care of those rebels first. Elective. Ugh, what a farce. No one wants to support my candidate. Shame. It's not all in the family either. There are people who are not of the family. Unacceptable. Let's not lead troops ourselves anymore. We need to kind of make sure that we survive. So our time of leading troops is done and we shall switch our focus to hunting. We need to rule for 10 years to go for a new succession law. Oh man. And we need the rules centralized for this. 
So maximum centralization. I don't think we're allowed to. Are we? Legalism level is five or greater. Okay, now we got that. Let's go here. High centralization. We can hopefully go for primogenitura. But we should definitely support dynastic heirs and not some duke. I mean, then again, I might never be able to lose the game again. Since it might not even matter. Oh god. All the lower kingdoms have... Oh god. Fine. Let's go for our dear cousin everywhere. Just so we keep it in the family. Might, might might not have been the best idea, <laughs> quite honestly. Might not have been the best idea, but now I did it, now I have the achievement, now I have to never worry about forming the Holy Roman Empire again, and that's okay. That's okay, it makes the game a little bit more interesting, learning something entirely. But it also kind of makes you uncomfortable, if you know exactly what you're doing, and you have been for a long time, and then suddenly you try something new and things are a little bit ugh, weird. That's... Would you not like to be my vassal? Alright. Oh, there we go. A big white splotch in Europe. Nice.